let's bring in former assistant U.S. attorney and Fox News contributor Andy McCarthy. Andy, good to see you. Um, you, see you. You've done a lot of cases. We have the former president, front runner in the GOP, at this trial, and it's a victimless crime. What's your read on what's happening in New York right now? Sean, it's more of a political theater than a legal case. And the reason I say that is it's this oddball situation where the judge has already ruled against Trump on the ultimate issue in the case. So the ensuing two to three months of trial are just about how how much this elected Democrat in a robe is going to allow the elected Democrat attorney general to run up the score in terms of the $250 million in disgorgement she's seeking. So the reason that Trump is, I think, handling it the way he's handling it is he knows he's not going to get any recourse legally until the appellate process way down the road. So he's just fighting this as a political uh, episode. And uh, he's trying to fold it into his campaign that the Democrats are basically exploiting the criminal justice system or the civil court system, uh, in this case, as a tool or a weapon against him uh, because they fear him politically. So. I think that's what we're seeing. But this is bigger, Andy, than just President Trump. And people need to know that, particularly people who run businesses here in New York City, because this is Tish James using, uh, you know, an old law here to essentially run somebody out of town and put somebody out of business. And you compared her to Stalin's longest serving secret police chief who once said, show me the man and I'll show you the crime. Yeah, well, she ran for office, Dagan, promising that she was going to, if she were elected, use the powers of her office against Trump to go after one single person who happens to be the nemesis of the Democratic Party. That, to me, is the essence of what passed for Soviet justice and what that whole show me the man and I'll show you the crime uh, old bromide was about. Uh, this is exactly what she done. And it, it really says something culturally um, condemnable about what's happened to us in the last 20 years. I think 20 years ago, a prosecutor or someone who was seeking office as a state's attorney who said, if you elect me, I will use the powers of my office against a particular person who happens to be my political enemy, that would have been disqualifying. And instead, she was elected, you know, the first time she ran, she was elected in a landslide. You know, Andy, uh, there seems to be one rule for Republicans, a different rule for Democrats, because d uh, Democrats are changing the rules, prosecuting Donald Trump, but Republicans seem to always play by the old rules of the, of the 80s. The only way I think this stops is if you have mutual assured destruction. The Republicans have to make Democrats play by these new set of rules. America's not better off for it, but that's probably the only pathway we get back to a little bit of respect under the law and not playing politics um, with statutes and old statutes. Well, that's a tough one, Sean, because... <laughs> I know it know, is. I mean, I, I, know, I don't want to beat them by being them, and that's always my, my problem with that. And I don't, I don't see destroying the justice system, but I do think that we really have to, to change the fact that when people abuse their powers, nobody gets held accountable. So, But it's New I'm York, Andy. For... No one's going to get held accountable in New York. They, they applaud. She ran on this. So there, she's not going to be held accountable. Yeah, but, 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 Sean, you... Sean, you know better than anyone else, if you destroy the economic environment by making it clear, if they can do this to Trump, they can do it to anybody. I know. Yep. And if you run a business in New York under those rules, you're insane. When yep. it happens to them, it'll stop, Andy. No. Nope. it happens to them, it'll stop. Yeah. It, people yeah. need to get the hell out of this town, and they need to get the hell out of this state. Don't you ever run a business here. And if they haven't gotten the message, they damn well should right now. Andy McCarthy, Woo. love you much. Andy McCarthy, that was a pleasure. Thank you.